hey guys and welcome back to my channel today's video i decided to do something different i decided to do a relaxing clean with me in my pajamas that's right you guys i am totally in my pajamas those are actually my favorite ones i got them on clearance at walmart for seven dollars <laughs> and i wear them all the time so this is real life guys i don't normally clean in regular clothes unless i happen to start in the middle of the day so i did start in the morning so and you know what we're on isolation and stay at home orders so i'm gonna be comfortable when i clean let me know in the comments below if you guys feel the same way if you are new to my channel welcome my name is cheyenne i'm a stay-at-home mom of six kids yeah not i'm a stay-at-home mom of four children <laughs> So I do cleaning videos just so you guys get some cleaning motivation. If you are new, I do hope that you decide to stick around and subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Definitely say hello in the comments below. And if you guys could do me a favor, please go ahead and like this video. If you enjoy this type of content, it really does help out my channel and I appreciate it so much. Let's go ahead and jump into the video. Like you, we're running out of light. The time is changing day to night, and you keep asking why. I'm out of control. My body and my soul don't wanna be whole. For you, I'm just unknown, and you're not that someone who will find my heart and bring. To my mind to move on Oh, cause I will find the way on my own Oh, I don't wanna be running from you But I know what I'm running from Oh, you keep saying fine But I'm not in line No, no, not this time Cause I will find the way on my own Cause I am out of control My body and my soul don't wanna be whole I don't wanna be For you I'm just unknown And you're not that someone who will find my heart And bring peace to my mind to move on Wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just so of course I had to start in my kitchen as usual my kitchen always takes the longest and it's always the place where it has the most mess I feel like besides the living room I live in my kitchen all day every day I clean it I think I mentioned this to you guys before probably about five or six times a day if not maybe like two or three to be real but anyways there's always something to clean in my house it's never perfect and I just like feeling like I have a clean kitchen. It makes my day go smoother even if I do it the night before so I can wake up and there's really nothing for me to tackle right away and I can just do my thing in the morning. So of course I had to go around the downstairs. I do have the kids do the upstairs most of the time but cleaning the light switches and any walls that might be really really gross, the door handles and just you know anything like that that we touch constantly cleaning off those surfaces really makes me feel better i've been having a lot of anxiety with this covid19 business and sometimes just picking up some lysol clorox wipes or even just some disinfecting spray and going around and disinfecting the surfaces really does make me feel better so let me know in the comments below how are you guys coping during this time i hope you guys are all staying in staying at home and staying well I 
So as you can see, I had to do, I had to go ahead and wash some of the baby's toys, all the stuff that can be washed with soap, I did go ahead and wash. Everything else got wiped down with Clorox wipes the night before. This is something we should be doing regularly, guys, um, as parents, just wiping down or spraying with antibacterial spray, the Lysol stuff, as much as we can where our kids play. I also did the baby stuffed animals, and sometimes I'll go around and use that Lysol disinfecting can for like a quick spray on the doorknobs and it really does I feel like help out so yes if you have not been washing your baby's toys I definitely suggest you do so if I had the chance I'd probably break free I could have my weights and I could let it be I could do what I want but it's just an illusion illusion yeah, I sometimes feel like I can't go up I'm drinking beer right out my coffee cup I wanna do what I want It's just an illusion, illusion Try to come around But I know it's gonna take a while So what? I wanna hang with my friends So what? I wanna go out again So what? I wanna write you a song It's not my fault that you can't sing alone I try to keep it cool and be So I did just want to show you guys real quick my laundry stock up. I stocked up on some of the game flings. I also had some of the Arm & Hammer, which I hadn't even broken into at this point. Um, but these are awesome too. And I really just had to make do with what was on the shelves, guys. So I didn't go picky or anything. So far, we've all been doing just fine on it as far as like, you know, any skin allergies or anything. Um, I also had my original stuff that I hadn't even run out of yet. So I finished that up. These snuggle little packs, they're perfect, super convenient. And then of course my dryer sheets. But let me know if you guys stocked up on laundry stuff. I'm really, really, really trying to find the Lysol laundry sanitizer. And like everybody, I'm having the hardest time finding anything Lysol at this point. So let me know how your experiences have been either looking for Lysol or Clorox or what it is you're doing to replace those things. I wanna hang with my friends Just wanna be, just wanna be myself I wanna hang, I wanna hang with my friends Just wanna be, just wanna be myself So what I wanna hang So I'm gonna be super real with you guys here All of this stock up, we had stocked up on toilet paper, paper towels, baby wipes um, all of it and I kept it in my little storage bench anyways that toilet paper and paper towels they are gone so this week coming I actually have to go out and get more I did order some from Sam's this morning um, I don't know if my order will stay it may or may not for delivery to the house but it is the 7th so today's April 7th and um, my order is not gonna get here until the 21st so even though I did order some and that's great, it'll last a while when it does get here, I'm still going to have to go out Thursday morning and get some toilet paper. <laughs> uh, let me know where you guys are shopping to get toilet paper or paper towels. Are you doing a Sam's Club pickup, a ship? Are you just going out and getting it as needed? Um, what is it that you guys are doing? to show you guys our quarantine stock up i haven't been able to show you and i wasn't able to do a grocery haul because things were so crazy um but for now i scored these at sprouts these are grapes we were able to get some almond milk yesterday i've made probably two or three trips but i've also gone to like 
several different stores. Um, these are the rest of our eggs, what's left. We used six this morning and then we're gonna have breakfast burritos, so we're probably gonna use some more. Some string cheese, some yogurt. We already have the yogurt. The cheese is new from last trip. I scored strawberries at Sprouts last week. They had four pounds for $5, so I got those. I really stocked up on these. Um, whoops. I stocked up on these for Jacqueline and the baby, and they seem to really, really like them. So I got a ton. Just something they can get themselves, <clears throat> so I don't have to do it for them. I'm just cleaning or I'm busy. I also got this Tyson bone-in pork shoulder. I need to separate this at some point, so I'm gonna have Curtis help me do that. I scored this cheese at Safeway. They were the only store left that day that I went to that actually had block cheese. So, got that. And then I got all these cheeses um, from King Supers, which is Kroger. And then I stocked up on all of this produce from Sprouts as well. So we got asparagus, avocados, cilantro, tomatoes, uh, parsley. That's an older cilantro, but we got parsley for some recipes and then down here i got their fresh lettuce a bag of carrots yesterday and i'm down to one purple onion but that's okay and then over here we stocked up on butter when they had it i went crazy for the butter because that's what i used to cook i got the kids some cheese slices jamie really likes these ones we stocked up on soda i have more cases in the pantry we were able to get half and half and a bunch of creamer. And then I was able to get cream yesterday because they finally had it. I stocked up on mayonnaise and ketchup and ranch and Parmesan cheese. That was something we got too. <clears throat> but that is the fridge. And here are our other sodas. I got these for Curtis yesterday. Some Clementine oranges for the kids to have a snack some bananas and apples. They're going quick though. And then I have my potato stash back here. I really need to organize that though. We did get bread. I did got my regular bread. I didn't go crazy on the bread. Oh, let me show you guys the freezer. Okay, I know it's a mess. I need to organize. Um, yes, I stocked up on ice cream. They were two for five. <laughs> Here's some chicken breast and a couple of thighs. I got some more of those crustables down here and my husband's croissant sandwiches. What? I'll be right there. Um, and these are about empty, so I'm gonna toss these. I got, I was able to get one thing of hamburger patties. I was so excited. So one thing, and then there's also other stuff in here. It's older that I need to go through, but otherwise. There's my freezer. There's actually some stuff under there. <laughs> I have to get that out. Okay, so here's the pantry. We already had all, most of the stuff in here. I stocked up on macaroni and cheese, some snacks for the kids. Um, yes, these are my cookies. Cereal, chips. Um, I mostly stocked up on the things down here. Mayonnaise, rice. I was able to get rice. Kids snacks, coffee, soda canned stuff. I have some tomato sauce back there and some canned fruit. And then I already had a bunch of canned corn and then these Idaho mashed potatoes. And those will be fun to make and juice also for the kids. So that's the pantry. Tortillas. This is like the fullest the pantry has been in a while. It was actually pretty empty before I even went shopping. <laughs> Mom, I have a great idea. Uh, Mom, I have a great idea. Where's your sock? Where's your sock? Oh, we were playing and then it just came off. Yeah! Mom, I have a great idea. Where's your sock? He's getting you. The monster 
Bowser's got you, Leo. He's like, what's going on? <laughs> So here's a super real moment here for you guys. I had to use the Lysol with um, hydrogen peroxide. And even though I love Lysol products, I only love certain ones. So no joke, I really only can handle my Lysol wipes. I very rarely ever use Lysol spray. So this has been kind of an adjustment for me. I recently picked up some of the anti back method cleaner those are not they do not mix well with me but I use them anyway if I have to and it's better than none right so I'm using those but in this um, scene here in my video I'm I cleaned the shower and I cleaned it with the hydrogen peroxide um, Lysol and it was just so terrible so that's why I had to put a mask on it didn't really help much um, that stuff still you still breathe that in it's still toxic to you it was just awful for me so but I kept on moving I had to get the bathroom done it was really disgusting and um, so yeah so I'm dying without my Lysol wipes um, I actually do not even like Clorox wipes either they give me headaches I don't know what it is but um, no joke super sensitive to chemicals when it comes you know just so sensitive it's just terrible it's not an exaggeration like I will be coughing the rest of the day if I use anything that is too harsh. I used the anti-back bathroom cleaner for Method and oh my goodness, like my chest was killing me. I don't know what it is. I'm just, like I said, super sensitive. Yeah, your perfume that I still can send. But every time I think these scars are about to mend So now I'm just in my master bathroom. I just wanted to give it a really good wipe down in here. I was already doing the upstairs bathroom, so I might as well get them all done at the same time, right? So anyways, then I'm going to go ahead and hit my bedroom, make my bed, and then I did have some laundry I needed to tackle and catch up on. I ha it's been a little hard for me to keep up on my laundry routine. Um, I created one, and it was working out really, really good. I was actually sticking to putting the laundry away every day whether I folded it the night before and then it came upstairs and then I would put it away the next day it was a good system it was what worked for me and my family now everything is so chaotic with the kids being home so it's kind of hard to stay on top of it right now I already have two baskets that I need to catch up on so yeah kind of embarrassing but that's okay it will get done it's clean it's just not put away it's folded it's just not put away so I am trying to work on a schedule for everybody but I mean at this point every day is different like we don't know what tomorrow is gonna hold you know and I mean it kind of sucks I try to live by a schedule I do the same routine mostly in the morning um, but I mean with the kids being home everything's just kind of chaotic <laughs> So let me know if you guys are going through the same thing because, yeah, I need a schedule, like, badly.
So I am going to go ahead and end the video here. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and all the music to go with it. I did try to pick some really good relaxing music for you all um, to clean to or just watch and then maybe you can get up and get motivated after you watch. Totally your choice. Again, I hope you guys decided to subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me for you to be a part of my YouTube family as well as go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That would really help out my channel and again i hope you guys are staying home and staying well and staying safe and to all you frontline and essential workers that are still out there helping our our world and our communities keep on going thank you so much for all that you do you guys are absolutely amazing and i don't know what we would do without you you are so so greatly appreciated and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.